Hello friends, today we're going to look at this Miros smart Wi-Fi thermostat. Welcome to this new video. So Miros sent me one of these smart thermostats in order to review it on my channel, but as always I give my honest opinion. So first we look at the package, then we do the unboxing, I will show you the easy installation, and then we do the setup in HomeKit itself. If you want to skip to one of those chapters, please feel free in the video description. So you can see I have two boxes. You have to be really careful that you pick the right one for your system. So this is for the boiler water heating system. Well, this one is for the electric underfloor heating. So pick the one for your heating system. You can see that it is native Apple Home compatible. So that is really nice and easy to set up. But it is also compatible with Alexa, Google Home and SmartThings. Of course, you will need a 2.4 gig Wi-Fi network in order to make it work and you need a iOS device. Mirror states that almost all boilers are compatible with their smart thermostat, but please check if you have a 100 to 250 volts power entry with a neutral wire. If you're not sure for this, please ask your electrician or plumber to verify. Now in the box we have the thermostat itself with the glass panel. The home kit code. This is really nice. They also foresee the labels in order to label your wires. And the manual. And here we have the screws as well with the little additional cable and the external sensor. So the thermostat has a built-in sensor as well, but if you like to add a sensor, you can wire this one here and guide it all the way down in order to detect the temperature elsewhere. I won't install this additional sensor, but it is nice to know that it is given with it. Here you can see the backlight panel. There's an open window detection. And that works as follows, as soon as the thermostat senses a sudden temperature drop, it will stop heating for 30 minutes. So it didn't link to any door sensor if you thought so. But of course you can set this kind of automation later in HomeKit. The installation, your wire diagram. Now, of course, the advantage of a smart thermostat is that you can control it from everywhere. You can set up automations. So when a window is detected as open, it can shut down your heating system. You can control it with your presence in the house to so set automations. Whenever you leave your home, the heating will automatically stop. The Mirrors app provides you with a 24 seven smart graphics schedule, but you can also regulate your heating with HomeKit automations, of course. So the power consumption is only one watt, so really low. The temperature range goes from five degrees Celsius up to 35 degrees Celsius, and there's an accuracy of 0 0.5 degrees Celsius. And of course, it is CE certified. I didn't mention this earlier in other Mirrors videos, but really I have to say that their support line is really great they reply quick and correct to your all your questions so thumbs up to mirrors now before we start the installation i'm first going to remove 
the actual thermostat it's a really simple non-smart one it doesn't even has backlight really annoying but of course i copied my actual schedule so it is easier to program later on so now let's remove And there you go. Now when we look to the setup, we see several things. First, we see our wires that are connected here and we have our diagram. And when we compare this with the thermostat itself, you can see that three is the normal open and two is the communication. So I am going to label that this way in order to recognize them when I undo this actual setup. Then the second thing you can see that I have my neutral and live wire just behind there, but they aren't connected. So I will have to check at my boiler itself to see where they are connected and what kind of power they get. Then the last thing that we see that I do, don't have any place here for my smart thermostat. So I can't put it directly onto the wall. But therefore I found this little wall mount, which is exactly the size of the smart thermostat. So we'll put this one on top and then I will connect my smart thermostat into this. So now I installed the wall box and I wired the two wires, the live and neutral, to my boiler. And as you can see, I have the 243 volt. So that's okay. So now I'm going to turn the circuit breaker to connect my smart Wi Fi. Now we go first to the mirrors app. Now we select add a device, smart thermostat. We choose for the MTS200 water system. Go on. This is what I need for tools. I turned the power off. Go on. I already removed the old thermostat. I put the labels on my wires. I already made a picture of it. Remove the cables and then you undo the back panel from the front panel. Go on. So I have this kind of heating system with a gas boiler. And now I have to connect my wires. So I have to connect my neutral, my live, my normally open and my communication cable. So let's do so. Proceed. Now I can fix this on top of the wall box. Now we have to install the front. So look, this is in the right position. Now we're going to put the power back on. Now it's already lighting up, so that's really great. Now I have to connect to my Wi-Fi. So I verified I'm on the 2.4 network, so that's okay. And the icon is blinking. So go on. Now I have to scan the HomeKit code. So 
sorry, terms that proceed. Now we can add it to the right room. We can call it smart thermostat. Go on. And there we go. And now there it is. There's new firmware. So let's go to upgrade that first. So now it's updated. We can go back to my start panel. And here it is. So I can adjust the sliders here. I can go to the settings there. I go to manual mode, it's on. You can set automatic. We go to the settings, we have the name of the thermostat, we have the manual, you can set the child protection so the buttons on the display don't work, the brightness of the panel itself when it's activated and in standby, so for me the tree is just perfect, in daytime it is clearly visible and in nighttime it isn't too bright. Then you have your temporary mode. So here you set your default values. So I have 21 when I let it heat manually, 70 degrees when I let it cool down manually and 15 degrees on the economy mode. Then the planning is where you can set your schedule. So today it is Tuesday. I can see the other weekdays as well. And it is really easy to set new temperatures, new values. So if I want to raise my temperature, for example, the Saturday over day, I go to the edit mode and I just slide my degrees over here. But you can also do it gradually with those buttons. And I can also change the time of day like this. And if I want to add another time with another temperature in the day, I just click on the line, add plus, it sets a new time frame and I can adjust the temperature right over there. So really easy to use. Now I have this hold action and here you can decide what your thermostat has to do whenever it is changed manually or by an automation. I've decided to make it go automatically back to its planned activity. You can calibrate the temperature. So I had to offset it by 1.7 degrees. So just put an, another thermometer just beside it. I had let it rest for half an hour, I think. And then I offset it my temperature and saved it. There's an open window detection. So it detects sudden temperature drops and if it detects this certain temperature drop, it will stop heating for the next 30 minutes. And you can also enable notifications whenever it does so. Then you have your protection from overheating of the floor, but I don't have floor heating and I don't have the floor sensor installed. Frost protection. Then you can set the accuracy. I set it to 1.5 degrees, so that means that if the temperature is set to 70 degrees, well, it stops heating as soon as 17.5 degrees is reached. And when the temperature drops back to 16.5 degrees, it will turn back on. Sensor option. So you can set it to the air and floor sensor or floor sensor only. I only have the integrated sensor activated. Summer position, so this is especially for a system that can cool as well, but I don't have a cooling option. And here you can set some automations. So those automations are limited to make it turn on or off on specific temperature ranges. You have your time zone, your local time, 
your location and your HomeKit setup code. So that's really nice. You have an integrated HomeKit code, so you don't have to keep track on the little sticker that is installed on the thermostat itself. Now within HomeKit itself, you can look for your thermostat right here. So I have it in my living room. I can change the temperature right here if I want or directly turn it off. And when I go to settings, my options are limited but sufficient for a thermostat. So you can set the unity. I can add it to favorites if I want to. I can set some automations and I can see status. Now when we see the display, we have the Wi-Fi signal. Here you can see that it's following a schedule. The power on off button. With this button I can cycle through the schedules. So now it's heating. Now it's cooling down and it is my eco mode. And here I go back to my schedule. I can see the actual temperature. And with the up and down buttons, I can raise or lower the temperature of the moment. So I'm using the thermostat for a couple of days now and I have to say it is really nice to have. My old thermostat didn't have backlight, so it's really hard to see the actual temperature or the program it was in. With this thermostat, it is always clearly visible what is the actual temperature and in what program it is operating. I've connected my big window over there with a sensor, also a mirror sensor. You can see the video of that sensor over here. And as soon as I open that window, the thermostat goes down to the 17 degrees temperature so it doesn't heat with an open window. So it is really nice, really easy to read. So the application is really handy to use to set a program and a schedule for the weekdays. It is as easy as dragging the temperatures up and down and setting your time frames. You can select multiple days or do it day per day. It is intuitive and really easy to use. So you can also set automations and make HomeKit set the temperature based on time of the day, if you're at home or not. But those automations are more advanced, while the schedule in the Mirrors app is quite simple, easy to adjust if needed. So personally, I opted for the Mirror schedule and I only use the automation in order to turn off the heating whenever the windows opened. So just now you see it switched to 19 degrees because it is, as you can see here, 1530. And that's the time when I start heating my house just before the kids come home from school. Not right now it is 18 degrees and slowly it will start heating until it is 19 degrees. It operates within five degrees so it heats until it detects that it is 19.5 degrees in my home and then it turns off and it will turn back on as soon as it is 18.5 degrees again. So one thing I miss in the Mirrors app is an overview with historical temperatures that the thermostat measured in my living room as they have with the temperature and humidity sensor. You can see that review over here. So it would be really nice to have some kind of graph where you can see when the heating turned on and the actual readings of the temperature within your house. Another thing I miss is to be able to activate the programs with automations. So the thermostat is exposed to home kits, but you only can set a specific temperature. But I would really like to address the specific 
programs so that I can set an automation that whenever the window is closed, that it turns back to the scheduled program. Within the Mirrors app, however, you can choose whatever it does whenever the program is changed. So to explain myself better, if I open my window at 14 o'clock, it will turn automatically back to the scheduled program at 15.30 because at 15.30 the heating turns on anyway. Within the application you can also set or offset your sensor temperature. I had to offset it a little bit. For that I use another thermometer and it appears to be 1.6 or 7 degrees off but now it is calibrated and it measures the temperature really well. So my overall conclusion is that it is a really nice thermostat that really works well. It is reliable, it looks nice, it is really easy to install as well. So if you are interested, please check my affiliate link down in the video description and use my reduction code to benefit from 10% reduction on this moment. It would really help this channel and you will benefit of 10% reduction. So let me know in the comments what you think about this thermostat. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye bye.